Hello, this is Mike with Skolton's Equipment, and today we're going to be looking at the all-new Kloss 4900 four-rotor rake. It is the liner 4900 business. It's got four rotors. It replaces the old model of the 4000 liner, and it's completely different. Let's take a look. I figure this rake's got so many differences between the old model. Let's we'll start at the center and work our way out. And if you're familiar with the old 4000, you might notice right off the bat, this has a different mainframe down the middle. So let's start at the mainframe. It's a trapezoidal frame design. It's completely different than the old one, and it's been engineered and designed to be a lot stronger and also to take the uh, the absorption of shock and bumps on the top plate instead of weld seams. Uh, that's very important when you're going over pivot rows, bumpy fields. This, this mainframe is made to last and not crack. The top plate is made to take the absorption. Starting on the mainframe, let's work our way out. They've done a couple improvements with the, uh, the jack. It's a much str stronger improved jack um, when you're setting those rake down with a three point as it's attached like the old 4000, but the jack is all unimproved. And you see this big uh, hook here. It's, it's designed to hold the hoses um, and the hoses go through it and through the frame and they're way more protected but also on this hook to you see the hoses coming out of there's little holes and those holes are made to hold specific hoses that hook to the tractor and keep them organized with different sizes and this channel channels into the frame it goes all the way back that's one of the improvements on the 4900 that it keeps the hoses more safe more enclosed and out of the elements working our way back on this frame you might notice these are some big tires and also there's a random tire here and there's these holders here this is all new to this 4900 rake this is the uh, 710 tire option you can go up to an 800 series on this rake for additional dollars standard it is a 600 size tire so we did spec this rake up to the bigger the medium tire you might call it but it's a big improvement over the old 4000 we have tire options that are much larger so you're gonna have less your tires won't fall into holes as much because they're bigger uh, you, you might ask, what's this tire for? On a lot of Kloss products this last two years, they've released spare tire options for the rotors. And like you see them on hay pickup heads, on choppers. Um, you see them on the tedders now. Uh, it's a spare tire. It is very, very low cost. So we're just ordering everything with the spare tire option because everyone knows how frustrating it is when you blow a spare bogey wheel on one of these rakes, tedders, hay pickups. And sometimes they're not in stock. We hope to always have it in stock, but it's, it's a trip into town you don't have to take when you have one mounted on a machine like this. So we order in all the machines that have the option for it from Kloss with the spare tire option. And this is where they put it on the 4900. Up above here is an all new designed uh, rake bar holder. Um, it, to keep them out of the way. If you're going to go down the road and you want to get it super low, it has a nice place to put them all. Uh, a little more organized um, and easier to get at when it's folded up. So now that we're done with the frame, let's work our way out. And you see these arms. If you're familiar with the old 4000 rake, the old 4000 rake had a kind of a scissor design when it extended out. This is a t totally, completely different design. It's a telescopic boom design. And it's stronger. Kloss has tested it thoroughly and it's a definitely stronger design than the old one. And it, it gives the ability to run them at a little different widths more efficiently. And then as we work out to the rotor, um, it may not look different, but this rotor is completely different internally. Each four of these rotors is equipped with a friction clutch. On the old model, they had a ratcheting style clutch. And when you hit a big wad or a piece of a foreign object in the field, the rotor would stop and go it would like ratchet and it was the rotor would actually stop moving this is a friction style clutch in this new model and it won't stop moving but it will slow down momentarily and then pick back up speed it's it's a much more efficient design and it it's it's much more durable the ratcheting style clutches uh, most of the time you thought something was broken all it was doing is trying to power through a slug and it couldn't do it it's a definite needed improvement on the 4900 series as you can see we still have the hand crank lever adjustment for the height of the rotors um, this is standard equipment. You can option up to a hydraulic lift on the rotors. Because of dollar, we're trying to save a little money on some of these specs. We did not put it on this model in particular. Uh, it is available through Kloss. Also, you see four 
four bogey wheels or caster wheels underneath each one of these rotors. There is an option for six. Again, we try to pick and choose some options to try to keep the cost a little bit down on these rakes. And we don't have a lot of pivot tracks in our area, but if you do have pivot tracks, I could see maybe wanting that six, that six wheel option. It is a uh, field install. You can field install that six rotor option. It's pretty simple if you did want that, but this, rotor, this rake is not equipped with that. So you might notice this double spring here. This is a patented spring design on this rotor from Kloss. What it does is puts 20% of the weight on the front wheels and 80% of the weight on the back wheels. So if you did fall into a hole in a field with this rotor in particular, this double spring works and makes sure that that weight isn't all sunk into the front of the rotor and it keeps the rotor from diving and, and, and is, uh, gives it a real 3D ground contour design. It is patented from Kloss. It is an improvement from the old model and it works really well. What's new on this rake and that I went over is not all that's new. What goes up into the cab and the monitor, the new SEMA 700 is also a new feature on this rake. It's not a neat, uh, feature that's necessarily needed for everyone. This rake is also ISOBUS compatible, so you could plug it into your tractor monitor if you want, but we do have the SEMA 700 hook in, hooked into this Kloss Axion 880. We don't need to, we could just hook into the, uh, the ISOBUS, but we wanted to show you what that new SEMA 700 uh, looks like. It is a touchscreen monitor from Kloss. It is a in, it's an in-base uh, standard feature price when you're ordering one of these 4900 liner business rakes. Um, but you don't have to order. You can deduct it and it will save you a little bit of money if you want to plug into your tractor ISO bus. Uh, one other thing, they got two other models of this rig. You got a 4800 and a 4700. Those are both trend models. Those do not come with the monitor. Uh, those are made to hook into ISOBUS, save a little money. A uh, little less technology with the lifting. Um, they're more of an economy rake, the 4748 trends. The business series is top of the line. It's got everything. Anyways, if you're interested in these rakes, you want a little more information, give us a call. This rake is pictured and priced online at scoltonsequipment.com. We're also looking to demo it somewhere, locally of course. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you like this. We'll, we got more content coming every day. Thanks. It's the 4900 Business Series rake, and there's a wheel loader right there. <laughs> rotor is completely different internally. Might want to cut there, I gotta think what I'm saying. It's a four rotor, ugh. Rotor! Rotor, rotor! Okay. Dude.